A few months ago, I woke up on a very strange noise, a noise that was familiar to me. So I rushed downstairs to see what was the problem. Someone found a parrot, a green parrot, in our garden. But she was very strange because she was feeling very tired and weary. Her eyes were kind of half closed. So I put her in a cage and gave her, gave her some food and drink. Next day, I noticed something strange about her wings. It was kind of leaning down compared to the other wings. So I was worried and rushed her to the vet immediately just to make sure that everything is all right. But things were not all right. Actually, her wing bones were broken. The humerus was broken. And I wanted to ask for a second opinion because I, I didn't like the first vet. Then we gone to another vet and he told me that it actually not two bones that were broken, but three. One of the bones has split into half. So the only solution for her was to do an operation. Um, it was a bit risky. The operation was, was a bit risky because it involves the parrot to be on anesthesia. And uh, there is a slim chance that the bird might not wake up. It's a minimal risk, but still a risk nonetheless. So I decided to do the operation and everything was fine. She had to wear a cone for a couple of weeks and she was obviously feeling very uncomfortable. <laughs> but everything went, went smoothly and we had removed the cone and the wing recovery was sound, sorry, the bones recovery was sound and brilliant. The bird was very happy and I noticed that her wings were slowly recovering. She was able to move her wings a little bit Still, there was a pin inside her wing, so I had to be very careful and keep her restrained in the cage. She was growing very fond of me, and everything was perfect until I did something very foolish. So one day, I let her out of the cage. She was on the cage, and I went away to prepare food. I was about, I think, five feet away. She wanted to reach me and decided to fly, but she couldn't and fell down. And then I picked it up. Something was feeling very wrong here. Her wings was, was leaning down again. Next day I rushed her to the vet and we're back to square one. Her wings were, was broken again. And they had to remove the pin and to do an operation and was, she was absolutely devastated. She was feeling very tired and... Sorry. Sorry. So the vet told me that there are two options, either to do the operation all over again or leave the bird just like that with a, with a broken wing because it can live with that and this will not affect her health in any way. So now I'm not really sure what to do. Should I do the operation or... I don't, I don't want to do the operation again because I don't want to abuse her health. She's a young bird and she has to go through all that experience again, wearing a cone and taking medication. So I'm a bit worried on that part. I'm not really sure what to do. I still have about a week to think about what to do with the bird. So I'm not really sure what will I be doing. So here's what happened during my last visit to the vet. I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is we can't do the operation again because uh, between the two layers of the broken bones, there is a layer, a new layer that is forming. And this is kind of the way the body heals itself by bridging this empty gap. So in order for us to do the operation, we'll have to break this bone and to the best interest of the bird, the vet informed me that it would be better not to do the operation because of all the hassle and the risks involved. She's going to go through another emotional struggle, physical and emotional struggle. So that's something that we don't want. So the best thing to do is just to leave uh, the bird as it is. Now, uh, the vet informed me that the bird will be able to fly, but not for long distances. I guess maybe gliding, but we'll have to see. 
she has to be restrained for I guess two months in the cage so I learned my lesson I'm not going to take any risks here as I was editing this video I started to reflect upon the decisions that I made I wondered why didn't I take this route, this option of... I want to pause here for a moment because I didn't get this on the video clip. What I was trying to say is, why did I do the operation? Why didn't I take the first option, which is not doing the operation? I guess this has to do with my personality of wanting things to be perfect and in a certain way. Because I passionately and fervently wanted the bird to fly again and, you know, to kind of patch herself up. But I guess sometimes in life the solution to a problem is just accepting things the way they are. So what's the good news? Well, the good news is I'm very glad that we're not doing the operation because as I already mentioned, it's a lot of pressure on the bird. So I'm just happy that I didn't have to take that decision. Moreover, uh, the bird is recovering more, most handsomely. Uh, she's recovering, she is far more energetic than she was before. So I started calling the parrot Greener. Now I'm not sure if she is a male or a female, but my mum says she's a female, so I, I guess I'll go with that. So that's her name, Greener. So this venture, this rescue operation seemed to be a failure because I didn't manage to um, patch the bird up. But I guess I learned something from it. I gained insight and experience on handling these kind of situations. So I'm quite happy that I acquired something even though it seemed that I didn't gain anything. So yeah, level up. And that concludes this video, this little story. Uh, I've got a lot of exciting content coming up on my YouTube channel. I've already uploaded one of my little short stories. So if you're into short stories, I'm going to put that somewhere here in a card. And uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in and until next time, take care. Level up. <laughs>